Hey everyone, welcome back to Bazai. Today, let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of how Python and Java run your programs, from the moment you write your code to the moment it actually runs on your machine. Let's start at the very beginning. You've written some code. In both Python and Java, you usually use a code editor to write your source files. These are .py files for Python and .java files for Java. Now, what happens when you want to run that code? In Python, your source is handed off right away to the CPython runtime. Here, Python actually does a little compilation, just in time, turning your script into bytecode. This bytecode isn't stored on disk immediately, instead it's used in memory, but Python will also cache it as .pyc files if you import modules. Meanwhile in Java, things are more formalized, you must explicitly compile your source file using a compiler called javac. This creates a .class file containing Java bytecode. You can't run the Java program until this step is done, no shortcuts. Next up is the artifacts and loading phase. In Python, the interpreter checks for any cached bytecode and uses the import system to gather everything it needs, like project files, standard libraries, and site packages. In Java, the runtime, the Java Virtual Machine or JVM, relies on the class path and JR files to collect all the necessary bytecode classes and modules before proceeding. When it's time to execute, Python fires up the Python Virtual Machine or PVM. This bytecode interpreter runs every instruction line by line, everything in Python is interpreted at runtime. There's no turning Python code into actual machine-native code by default, which is why some people say Python can be slower. Java, on the other hand, loads each class into its own JVM engine. It first verifies all the bytecode for safety using its verifier, then chooses one of two ways to execute, either using its interpreter, like Python, or using just-in-time compilation or JIT. The JIT compiler spots hot paths, sections of code that run often, and compiles those on the fly to native machine code, which is then cached for even faster subsequent runs. This dual approach is one reason Java can get close to native performance, especially for long-running server applications. Finally, both programs run, but with different trade-offs. Python is fast for prototyping and has a simple pipeline, but it's always running interpreted bytecode. Java requires explicit compilation and a little more setup, but thanks to JIT, it can execute crucial sections of your code nearly as fast as C or C++ in many scenarios. So in summary, Python, ultra-flexible, simple, always interpreted. Java, strongly typed compiled, capable of high speed thanks to JIT. Which approach is better? It depends on your needs. Let me know in the comments if you want even deeper dives into runtime internals or language comparisons. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for